Hey guys, Spartan117GW, and welcome to another episode of the Armory. Now today we're going to be going over the Mega Arms MKM. Uh, this is a really, really nice gun. I've uh, always been a fan of it uh, ever since I got my first chance to hold it. Uh, and I've been using it, uh, you know, kind of interchangeably with the ERG. There are certain situations where having an AEG is pretty advantageous, but I do give a lot of props to teams like Murder for Hire up in NorCal, who all pretty much all run gas blowback guns, or guys like Bob the Axeman, who pretty much run an LM4 platform all the time. Now, if you guys didn't know, this is based off the LM4 platform. Its internals is pretty much identical. A couple smaller differences, like the receiver is actually a little bit thinner, um, and obviously just the fact that the receiver itself is all billeted and it's all one-piece upper, it's, it's really nice. So if any of you guys have owned the LM4, you know that the um, top of the receiver, the Picatinny rail is not, it's not like one piece. Over over time, that will kind of start wiggling um, that, that top Picatinny rail on there. So that's just something to look out for for if uh, you're LM4, you've had it for a while. Uh, but what's great about gas blowback guns is obviously you don't have to worry about batteries. Um, and you know, it's you can put a bunch of either real steel or you know, PTS or other um, accessories on here. And it kind of, uh, it's just nice and clean and simple in, in a lot of ways. You know, like you have to worry about adjusting motor height. You don't have to worry about all kinds of different things. Um, on this one, I actually updated a few things. Um, if you didn't watch one of my more recent videos, I threw on some Ergo uh, stuff on here. I got the uh, F93 Pro stock and I have the Ergo uh, grip right here. I also put on a uh, ASAP on here because it was on my other LM4. I was like, yeah, why not? Um, so that's a couple of the updates. So uh, it's more or less kind of identical to how I had it set up. This was actually my backup gun uh, for um, Assault on Antioch. I didn't end up using it during AOA just because just the raw number of people you had to shoot at, it was just like you'd run out of gas so fast, <laughs> so fast. So gas blowback guns, great for training, but in gameplay and skirmishes, it's more for like skirmishes and stuff. Um, typically, if you get nice clean angles and uh, you know, it's not too overcrowded. Uh, I mean, that could be kind of a blessing and a curse because then you can get multiple kills. Uh, but, you know, I like playing games where you're a little bit more, um, you kind of take your time with the gas blowback gun. Um, just because when you're in a game that's just freaking all out chaos, uh, sometimes it feels like the overwhelming 30 rounds a second incoming when you're shooting gas guns is a little, it's interesting, it's interesting. But I will say getting kills with a gas blowback gun is like two two times as satisfying as getting killed in AEG. It's, it's awesome, it feels great. And it's just like, man, that that was that was sick. That was sick. Uh, but yeah, I've been taking out the field every now and then, and uh, you know, I love this gun. It's got a great um, look and feel to it aesthetically. Um, it's just it's a beautiful gun, <laughs> to be honest. It's a beautiful, beautiful gun. Uh, definitely not the last time you guys are going to see the MKM in the PTS family of weapons because uh, a couple things up our sleeve. Um, the Chen. Um, that Chen Lee or SMG Lee was a part of where they had like a cut down version. Uh, so there's t there's two people who've done some really nice cut down versions. Uh, so there was the one that Chen had, and then there was also uh, Booby uh, from Murder for Hire actually made his own MKM where it was cut down, and then he also did one that was like, I believe it was Cerakoted, I'm not 100% sure, but had a beautiful, beautiful, like bronzed receiver it was just like oh my god so nice so nice so you know i might end up getting this one kind of redone just because like I, you know i like the black but every time every now and then it's kind of nice to have a, a new look for the gun itself uh one key tip if you're new to gas blowback guns i find a lot of people who are new to the lm4 platform in general kind of make this mistake do not for the love of god overload your magazines you will run into issues um for uh, obviously like the bolt will go forward and it won't chamber the first round and gas will be venting out and you'll chop BBs and stuff like that. And just 38 rounds, all you need in the LM4 mag. Just, you know, kind of, you know, be cognizant of that. Uh, one thing you can do and, and you'll notice when you seat the mag, it'll kind of seat, but it won't really seat. Like it's in the mag well all the way, but it's not seated. That's when you know that you've um, overloaded the mag. And what I'll usually do is I'll, I'll seat it well, I'll lock the bolt back, I'll seat it, and then uh, I'll just, you know, basically I'll rack like a, a cup, one or two BBs out of the mag, and then I'll, um, you know, just, I'll take, I'll take, I'll take the mag out. But uh, yeah, basically feed the gun, rack, I'll usually rack it, and then kind of get rid of a few rounds, or you can just 
you know, use your finger and just thumb press them out of the magazine. But just something to keep an eye on because there's a lot of LM4 users that's like the first thing they do is they jam all that ammo in there and then you run into a whole horse ton of problems. Uh, but overall though, it's a pretty reliable platform. You know, you get pretty good gas efficiency. The recoil is great. The mags, you know, for a while they were scarce, but they're actually pretty easy to get now. So this is probably one of the best times to get an LM4 based platform. Um, also Bo uh, from American Muslim just picked this up, but you know, I've definitely loved this gun. Um, when I first saw it, you know, come out, I was just like, oh my God, that just looks so sick. And it's an LM4 platform. It's, it's legit. Um, but like I said, I'm also excited to see what they have next um, in the PTS lineup for the Mega Arms family of guns. Uh, but make sure you guys check it out. It's the Mega Arms MKM. Definitely for you guys kind of looking to um, up your game to the gas blowback level. But uh, it's definitely a really sick gun. And make sure you guys check it out. Well, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Spartan 117 GW. Yeah, make sure you guys check it out. Elite Force BBs, that's what's in my mag. Thanks for watching.